from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, after clouds and a few showers today, we're all looking forward to more sunshine and high pressure is going to deliver that for us as we head into your good Friday. Temperatures are going to be a little bit cooler, but they're still going to be agreeable and above average for this time of year. By Saturday, unfortunately, we're going to be tracking another cold front. This one's going to pack a little bit more of a punch, expecting a few showers, but the bigger impact will be the cooler numbers that are going to arrive as we're heading into Easter Sunday. Uh, sunny skies on the backside of that front, but we're going to see temperatures that are going to be significantly below average. So hopefully you haven't put away that light jacket just yet. Sunshine for the morning. High pressure pushing on off towards the east. That's going to allow for the winds to shift on the backside. Southerly flow. That's going to equal some warm numbers as we push into the afternoon, but clouds will be building as we head into the overnight hours ahead of our next weather maker, which is that front that you just saw. Everybody's not working tomorrow, but some folks are. And if you're heading out early, uh, I don't think you're going to need the heated seats, but maybe some hot coffee, upper 40s, low 50s for the morning drive. Eventually, we see those numbers rebound heading into the afternoon. If everybody who's off and maybe not going fishing or crabbing, giving you the green light to maybe go ahead and take that extra long bike ride. Temperatures near 70 degrees by the 4 o'clock hour. And then tomorrow night, KRS one in concert at Baltimore soundstage. They're hitting the stage at 830 and temperatures are going to be near 60 degrees, but falling through the overnight uh, clouds are going to be building, so I don't expect it to be an uncomfortable overnight. Temperatures fall to about the mid 50s, but there will be some sprinkles on the roadways for folks that are heading out early Saturday morning, maybe going to see some family for Easter spotty showers, isolated rumble of thunder here at around 11 AM to 12 o'clock lunchtime as temperatures get into the 60s. We do get into the 70s for a couple of hours and we're watching that boundary push through where there will be some spotty showers. Not expecting this to be an overwhelming all day washout type of event, but I just wanted to let you know that maybe Saturday's not the day to wash the car. I know we all want to be fresh on Easter Sunday, uh, but the car is going to have to just deal with what it is. Kill cooling numbers on the backside of that front as winds are shifting and coming out of the northwest. That's going to start us off with some chilly numbers for Easter Sunday morning, especially folks that are heading out to church. Starting off the day in the upper 30s, struggling to get into the 50s through the afternoon. I think the kids are going to need some sleeves for the Easter egg hunt as temperatures are only going to top out near 58 degrees. We're staying below average for Monday, just throwing in a rain chance, warming back into the 60s, upper 60s by next Thursday.